Hey guys, here so you and to review the Bella Legolic Ninjago Destiny's Wing. So this is the box itself right here. And as you can see, this is set 10934, comes with 193 pieces and it's recommended for just 6 and up. And comes with two main figures, which is shown down here. And the box art does look really nice. You have the ninja at the top, you have uh, this Ninjago art at the side. And this is the top of the box, which shows you the actual size. And this is the side of the box. This is the other side of the box, which shows you the parts list. And this is the bottom of the box. And finally, this is the back of the box, which shows you all of the features and an art for Ninjago. So that's pretty much it for the box. So this is the instruction manual right here, and this is the front. This is the first page of the build, which shows you how to build the main figures. And this is the final page of the build. And this is the back, which shows you all of the sets from the same wave, which Bella has copied all of them. So yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instructions. So the first figure right here is Kai. So he comes with the mask piece right here, which is two separate pieces, and they are introduced in the Ninjago movie series. And for the top mask piece, you have a black band, and you have the fire ninja kind of symbol. And here, remove this one, and you also have a bottom mask piece, which yeah, if you turn it around, and you can see his face print right here, which is this kind of awkward expression printing and for the alternate expression uh, you have this kind of angry expression type thing and for the torso print right here you have a strap you have a armor you have the belt on the hip and for the leg printing you have uh, the armor piece you have a strap right there you have the boots printing you have kind of a texture right here and for the back torso print you have the strap uh, continuing to the back you have the armor you have uh, the symbol which is covered up by the strap and you have the belt so yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for Kai so the second figure right here is Jet Jack so he comes with some accessories and we'll take a look at the figure later so for the accessories you have a staff tough thing and you also have a jetpack so for the staff it's quite a simple build you have a lightsaber hilt right here and you have a side at the end not sure if it's supposed to be a staff but for the jetpack build itself uh, it bears no resemblance to a jetpack uh, but yeah it's supposed to be a jetpack and you have these two things extended out and you can kind of adjust them if you want to and uh, at the bottom it's supposed to represent the jetpack cluster and this thing is connected to this transparent piece which is a neck bracket piece and yep yeah, aside from that that's pretty much it for the accessories so this is the figure just by itself so he has a mohawk hair piece which is really cool and let's uh, just remove that and for the hit printing right here you have the this kind of goggles type thing or a visor and you have the teeth printing and there is also some back hit printing which is definitely really interesting and for the torso print you have the chains right here you have this jumpsuit type thing you have the belt and you have the leg printing you have uh, the chains and you have the boots printing and this is the back torso print which has this cloth kind of detailing but yep aside from that that's pretty much it for jet jack so these are the two builds right here which is the destiny's wing and you also have a pedestal so let's start with the smaller build first so for the pedestal itself it's simply just a pedestal for this sword right here which does have a very nice looking mold it's uh, two separate pieces and yeah I really like how the blade looks uh, I like it in this metallic silver and yeah it looks really nice and it's clipped on the pedestal itself and at the back of the pedestal you have these two wing pieces which is also clipped on you have this plant piece right here and you have uh, this clip which I'm not sure what it does maybe you can clip uh, one of the figures accessories on there or something and yeah uh, the pedestal it's built up by these 1x2 modified bricks so 
yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for the pedestal so this is the destiny's wing itself right here and as you can see it's quite wide that's because of the wings so let's start with the wings first so the wings here you have a stud shooter which does work which is nice and here you have a katana which i'm not sure if it's supposed to be an accessory or it's supposed uh, to be just a decoration and this entire wing piece it's uh connected by the Technic connector piece so yeah this is how it looks like and there is also a uh, spring loaded shooter at the bottom which is uh, definitely really nice and it does work really well as well and you have uh, some gold pieces here for uh, decoration and the other side it's basically the same just mirrored and uh, in the middle here you have this turbine right here which does make this craft look really nice and you have uh, the exhaust right here there are a total of six of them you have the cockpit piece and you can open this up and for the interior you have a console uh, printed console piece and you have the seat which does look quite comfortable and yeah you can kind of adjust the seat if you want to there is also a headrest which can be adjusted separately and uh, the figure when it sits inside it doesn't sit on any studs it just kind of clips on to the modified one by two piece and yeah you can just close this up quite easily and here you have the exhaust in gold and yeah it does look really nice and at the back here you have the stabilizers with uh, some decoration right here and you can kind of adjust it if you want to and here you have this kind of engine detailing i guess and here you have a flag which you can kind of raise up and move uh, from the left to the right and it has this kind of white flag top thing and at the back you have the cruster right here which is represented by these two barrel pieces in gray and this is the bottom of the craft and Yep, yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the Destiny's wing. So, version of this set here, so how do I think of it? Well, for the figures themselves, I think uh, they are fine. I don't think they are that great because of their quality control. They feel very loose and yeah, the top part and the bottom part of the body is very loose as well. And the movement is also quite loose. And same thing goes for Jet Jack and the main figures, they have room for improvement. But for the builds themselves, I think the builds here, they are great. You know, I'm glad that they have made this mold. You know, it's really cool. And for the Destiny's Wing, everything here works. You have the stud shooter, you have the spring loader shooter, and yeah, everything just looks great, and you know, everything works. So, the only problem with this set are the minifigures. The builds themselves, I don't have any problems with them. So, if you like this set, I definitely recommend you getting this one because it's a very, very good set, and yeah, the quality of it is really good as well. So, if you want to buy a set here, I'll put a button to it down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.